It's the weekend here at Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Friday, November 25th, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. As the old saying goes, shows are won and lost from the back. And from the look of things, our old friend Juan Morel doesn't have plans to add too many L's to his resume next year. This week, Juan Diesel released a little bit of post-Thanksgiving back training footage where we get a chance to see one of New York's finest putting all of those extra carbs to good use. In the long run, deciding to shut things down and skip the Olympia this year may have been the best thing Juan could have done because right now he looks happier and healthier than we've seen in quite some time. With a few more months of solid eating and training ahead of him, before it's time to jump back on stage, Morel has plenty of time to refocus for 2017. And if a healthy Morel sets his mind to dominating everything in sight, there aren't too many people out there who can stop the freight train. Juan Morel isn't the only one making good use of all this off time these days. After taking the entire 2016 season off to focus on getting back to business, women's bodybuilding star Monique Jones seems to be finding her stride lately. This week, Jones was spotted hammering out another grueling arm training session as she slowly but surely starts to round back into form. As we've seen over the years, a 100% Monique Jones can be a handful to deal with for anyone in the women's bodybuilding division. So whenever she decides it's time to hop back on stage and get back to doing what it is that she does best, you can all but take it to the bank that we're going to get the best version of Monique Jones that we've ever seen. Now that he's officially sealed the deal on another incredible contest season, it doesn't seem like Guy Cisternino is wasting any time getting back to doing what he does best. Once again, the 212 powerhouse had another terrific season, highlighted by his second consecutive win at the New York Pro and his sixth straight trip to the Olympia. Recently, a gigantic looking Cisternino was spotted crushing a late night shoulder workout as he barrels full speed ahead towards next season. Pound for pound, Sister Nino has to be considered one of the toughest men in bodybuilding right now. And that junkyard dog mentality he brings with him to the gym every day is a major reason for his success. It's too early to start speculating on when or if we might see him again, but I can tell you one thing for sure. When guy Sister Nino enters the building, everyone else better be ready for a fight because you can bet your butt that he's going to be bringing everything he's got to the stage. It's been a while since we've heard anything from perennial bikini standout Norman Austria. With top 10 finishes at the Arnold Arnold Australia and Olympia for the second straight season, once again Austria reminded everyone why she's one of the best in the business in 2016. Earlier this week, Austria gave her fans a sneak peek at what she's been up to so far this offseason when she released some video from a recent back workout where she already looks to be firing on all cylinders. Over the last three seasons, Austria has really done an excellent job of adding little tweaks to her physique and those back-to-back -to -back top eight Olympia finishes are proof positive that she's more than capable of holding her own when she's dialed in. If she can add a few more finishing touches here and there and fix a few of those consistency issues with her conditioning, don't be surprised if we see her capture one of the sport's major titles a whole lot sooner than later. Over the last few years, we've seen the amateur Olympia unearth some real talent that went on to do big things at the pro level. And something tells me one of this year's heavyweight finishers might be the next to shine. This week, some awesome new progress photos surfaced of UK powerhouse Hamid Juma, who doesn't seem to have any plans of taking his foot off the gas following his top five finish a few weeks ago. This year, the 28-year-old really put himself on the map when he won the overall at the UK Grand Prix, where he flat out overwhelmed the competition with his combination of size, shape, and grainy conditioning. With another solid offseason to fill in some gaps and really focus on improving the overall depth and quality of his physique, there's more than a good chance that we see Juma take next step and earn his pro card before next season is all said and done. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.